What's up, my people? This is Showbiz the Adult. Let's talk Triple G versus Canelo 3. What? The WBC is being petitioned to have a trilogy with Triple G and Canelo. Canelo said he's all for it. He's down for it. That doesn't surprise me because Canelo is a gladiator. I mean, forget what everyone says about Canelo. Uh, him, he's a gladiator. Golden Boy, Oscar, not so good for the sport. But Canelo as a boxer, he's a gladiator. So is Triple G. Now, how do I feel about a possible trilogy? I do not need to see it. I've pretty much gotten the gist, okay? The first fight and the second fight was pretty much the same thing. They both are extremely even. Now, would I be opposed to a trilogy? Not so much. Why? Because it's entertaining. Those guys, they throw a lot of punches and they slug each other. You know, so, I mean, it's entertaining to watch. It's kind of a waste of time to me. But I will still watch it. I'll still pay for it. I'll still be excited to consume the product. Now, what I would really be excited about is if that trilogy doesn't happen, Canelo will be forced to fight his mandatory, which is Charlo. That's right, Jamal Charlo, okay, at middleweight. So, if he doesn't fight Triple G in a trilogy, or if that just doesn't pan out, he must fight Charlo. I think that is more intriguing to me. I would love to see that. I've seen him, Canelo, and Triple G twice already. Let's move on to Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder. Now, I've been watching the press conferences. Those things have been completely entertaining off the hook. So much so that I believe they sold a million, million dollars oh my God. in 25. <laughs> that is amazing. Okay, they're doing a great job just doing the whole WWE thing, yelling at each other, being characters. But at the same time, I think that a lot of that stuff is still authentic. When I watched the first time they were in each other's face, after being in the ring, I saw something. I saw something really revealing to me. Um, and that is Deontay Wilder is extremely vindictive. He has a crazy vindictive personality. Okay, so when they both walked out there, you saw um, that Tyson Fury was staring at Deontay Wilder. And Deontay Wilder wasn't looking at Tyson Fury. And Deontay Wilder was the first one to sit down. Then when they both got up, when Tyson Fury asked Deontay Wilder to do a quick little spar, they were in each other's faces. I saw Deontay Wilder push Tyson Fury. Why? Because that is revenge on when they were in the ring and Tyson Fury pushed Deontay Wilder. Then later after that spar or when things kind of went out of hand, um, it was Tyson Fury who sat down first. And Deontay Wilder took off his shades to make sure he was looking at looking Tyson Fury in his eyes. So that's one thing I really noticed about Deontay Wilder. He has a crazy vindictive, vindictive personality. He doesn't like anyone getting the upper hand on him. So what you have are two alpha males. Now, let's go back to them hyping a fight and selling over a million tickets in 25 minutes. I think that is great for both fighters just to show to AJ either one who wins that they can sell tickets. What AJ claimed to have and what Hearn claimed to have was that they had the leverage on how many people come to see AJ opposed to how many people go to see, you know, the guy that he's challenging, okay? And Tyson and Deontay Wilder had this big argument saying that, hey, look, man, it should be 50-50 because I'm the man too. Now, both of them, Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder, they both have the numbers after this fight to actually make that strong argument and something to back them up. Now, I am definitely looking forward to Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder. I think that's going to be a barn burner. I love that matchup. And like I've always said, I think whoever comes out of that fight is the best heavyweight. Showbiz the adult. Listen to Showbiz. I'm out. Oh, What's that? Let's go.